Hi guys, in this video we're going to have a quick look at Thomas Morgan's experiments into the fruit fly. We're going to have do some background information on Thomas, Thomas Morgan, uh, talk about his fruit fly experiments and then his theory of sex linkage. So firstly, Morgan lived at the turn of the 20th century and he was a scientist who conducted research into the Drosophila fruit fly. And in particular, he was looking at the eye color of the fruit fly. Most fruit fly have red eyes. However, there were mutant flies which had white eyes. Uh, so he was looking into these flies. What he was trying to do was replicate Mendel's experiments. Now this, uh, we started his work in 1908, remembering that Mendel's experiments and data had been lost uh, after Mendel's death. And it wasn't until about 1900 that they were rediscovered. So this is fairly early in genetics. Uh, so he was trying to replicate those experiments. However, it didn't quite work out. Uh, and we now have a better understanding of genetics uh, from the proposal of sex linkage that Thomas Hunt Morgan put forward and won the 1933 Nobel Prize for. So let's have a look at his experiments. So as I said, he was looking at white eyed and red eyed fruit fly. So he got a white eyed male fly and mated it with a red eyed female fly. And all of the offspring were red eyed flies as he expected uh, because red eye is dominant over white eye. He then got two of these F1 generation flies, a red eyed male and a red eyed female and mated them together. Now what he was expecting was what Mendel came up with, a 3 to 1 ratio of the red-eyed fly to the white-eyed fly. But that isn't quite what he got. He did get the 3 to 1 ratio, however, on further inspection, he noticed that those numbers were skewed a little bit, in that all of the females had red eyes, and the males, on the other hand, were 50-50 red-eye and white-eye. So in total, it's three to one. But if you looked at the particular sexes, uh, there are some quite interesting results. So Morgan proposed sex linkage. And that is that the expression of the gene for fruit fly eye color is related to the sex of the fly. Uh, so therefore, it, that gene must be found on the sex determinant chromosomes. Now in humans, the same as in fruit flies, we have XY for males and XX for females. And those chromosomes are different lengths and contain different amounts of genes. But more on that later. In this video, we've talked about Thomas Morgan, who did experiments into fruit flies, where he was looking at eye color, the red eye and white eye. And he found that when you have the F1 generation and you breed them rather than get the expected 3 to 1 ratio, you get all red-eyed females and 50-50 red-eye, white-eyed males. He from here proposed the theory of sex linkage in that something in the sex determination was causing a different expression of this eye color gene.